Welcome back to this FNTV series on the ongoing 5G versus Wi-Fi competition. While 5G is gaining ground in enterprise and industry markets, the consumer space remains a tougher nut to crack. Nuts! Oh, hazel nuts! Mm. Wi-Fi is today's go-to for everything from home entertainment to airport lounges, and that gives it a long half-life, though not an indefinite one. There is now no meaningful difference in throughput between Wi-Fi and 5G for end users. Equally importantly, 5G's widespread presence promises to eliminate the friction when switching from cellular coverage to, say, a coffee shop Wi-Fi network. <laughs> now, that may not sound like a big deal, but in 20 years, trading your digital identity in the form of your email address for free internet access in shops will seem as strange as those dial-up sounds from the 1990s are to Generation Z. For younger generations, the shift from Wi-Fi to 5G is all part of a larger trend, a sort of broadband entitlement, where they move away from fixed broadband subscriptions towards untethered high-speed access. Now, many consumers, both young and old, would love seamless universal high-speed network access with their 5G plans. But they can't buy what laptop vendors aren't offering. Manufacturers are hesitant to include cellular features when a simple $10 Wi-Fi modem fits neatly into the M2 slot on their laptop motherboard. The good news? Qualcomm has announced onboard 5G as a key part of its new revenue diversification strategy. Its Snapdragon X Elite modem, combining 5G and AI, should appear in premium laptops by year's end. It's a small but crucial step forward. Join me next time as we dig into two sources of confusion about 5G.